De Montfort University in Leicester. In Leicester. In Leicester. Leicester. Excuse me. Uh, in England, and uh, we have Abdullah Al Mutiri. Is that close enough? That's exactly. Okay, and he's going to talk to us about orthogonal wavelet division multiplex as a modulation scheme for digital television. Go ahead, Abdullah. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. Uh, orthogonal wavelet division multiplex is a way of uh, utilizing wavelet, which is used on uh, other applications. Uh, uh, and devices. Uh, it's used. Uh, wavelet is used on uh, image processing and MBIG, uh, image processing and video processing as well on a compression. Mm -hmm. But we are uh, proposing this to be used as uh, a way of conveying a TV uh, signal. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been proposed uh, by LEMFA uh, ETL back in 2004 or 2005, mm -hmm. and this is an extension uh, to their work. Uh, we are utilizing uh, an application called DVB-T, mm -hmm. uh, DVB-T1, not uh, yeah, very popular, yeah. and uh, all parts of Europe, uh, major parts of Europe, yeah. uh, especially in the UK. Yes. Yeah, uh, and we are uh, um, instead of using the Fourier transform, we are using a wavelet uh, transform, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, if you see here, it's uh, the block diagram of DVB-T, but. And instead, this is a DVB-T block diagram, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but instead of uh, the uh, Fourier transform, which is uh, uh, used on uh, DVB-T and OFDM. Can you describe the difference between Fourier transforms and wavelet, uh, the wavelet filters? Uh, the wavelet uh, transform yeah. uh, transform the signal um, time, uh, not transform, is analyze the signal mm -hmm. on time and frequency, mm -hmm. whereas on Fourier transform, just the frequency. Okay. Uh, and if we analyze the, if we could so both time analyze that, frequency, yeah, if okay. we could do it like this, uh, we will know uh, every single part of the, uh, the whole uh, signal. Does it take so more processing power than the Fourier transforms would? It's not proven yet, but uh, the complexity is less. It's less. Huh? Yeah, but huh. I think the time being, for the time being, it takes a pretty longer time. But we could reduce this by uh, utilizing uh, an equalizer. Mm, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so uh, it's uh, a proposal, not proven yet. You haven't done that yeah, yet. Yeah, you okay. haven't. Uh, That's I'm, the next I'm, paper. Uh, yeah. Ah, okay. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> 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 we'll, we'll, we'll try. Uh, and uh, the wavelet synthesis, which is that block here. That's there. This okay. is, yeah, this is what's going on in that particular block. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and there is uh, two models of this. We are using here. Uh, it's a bunch of filters. Uh, yeah, it's a filter bank. Uh, uh, it's a filter, filter bank, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is exactly what's used on uh, uh, image uh, MBIG, uh, MBIG standard. Yeah, right. Which okay. is the image uh, compression. Right. Yeah. But so that's wavelet based. Uh, yeah, wavelet based. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but here we are using a wavelet bucket. It's called wavelet bucket. Uh, wavelet bucket. Ah, wavelet packets. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, it's. Uh, Another call uh, for it, it's so-called uh, asymmetric form of uh, wavelet, mm -hmm. because we're using one branch of filters, which oh, is so just the low pass. So they're tuned differently, the high pass and low pass. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. of course. Okay. Uh, we are not using uh, here uh, the high pass. Uh, there is another model. We are using just the low pass filter. So there can be two different, two different models you can use. Yeah. Uh, the other model uh -huh. is using both. Oh, you both together. Yeah. Okay. Ah. So Lova, is using one, asymmetric is using one or the other, but there's That's also it. one where you have a balance. Uh, asymmetric, the symmetric one, which we use both the branch, yeah. okay. the low bass and the high bass as well. Ah. If we use that one, uh -huh. the signal will be transmitted uh, dynamically, which uh, which we can adapt the bandwidth. Uh, whatever uh, we need, we can uh, just divide the bandwidth to the length we want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but whereas the other one, we cannot because it's just the symmetric one. Uh, it just uh, work like the OFDM, which uh, splitting the bandwidth equally. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. And for the moment, we are trying to prove that is a viable and can be used mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, in terms of signal to noise ratio and better rate. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're showing? Yeah, which is uh, that one. Oh, this okay. is uh, 
the signal to noise ratio uh, so versus two, two K video, is that what that is? that's a OFDM DVB-T two K mode. So 2K. Yeah, it has a uh, specific parameters on the standard. Okay. Uh, I've used this uh, application to validate uh, the model, mm -hmm. uh, the proposed model. How does it work? How well does it work? Uh, it's just comparing the bit error rate against signal no, no, no. to noise ratio. How, how yeah. good is the match? To verify? How good is the verification of the model? Ah, right here. That's it. Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, it's a question. At the same time, yeah. At the same time. I'm using a different uh, wave. There's a whole of, uh, if you see these filters, uh -huh. there's a whole of, uh, lot of families, uh, okay. filter families. Okay. And uh, for each family, mm -hmm. even there's a children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's just Debache's children? Yeah. Uh -huh. This is it. This is the Debache's uh, filters. Uh -huh. And this is a similar filter. There's a coil There's a lot of them. Huh. Yeah. Uh, what I'm using on this model is just the simlet, investigating the simlet and Dabich's. Dabich's too, by the way, it's called the uh, Har filters. Called what? Har, Har filter, okay. yeah. Okay. Har filter, okay. Har filter. Named it's after some guy so named Har, I'll bet. Yeah. Yes. He's the one who invented it. <laughs> and Dabich's as well. Uh, that's He's well known. Means, yeah. He's well known. Uh, simlet, I don't think is anybody's name, though, is it? Simlet, I don't think so. It's a name. Uh, it's maybe... Uh, Symmetrical something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and we're using now at the moment the signal to noise ratio is higher mm -hmm. uh, than uh, what is a uh, DVBT gives, mm -hmm. but the bit error rate we've got some problem to investigate These are the further. Same scale here. Yeah, the same, the mm -hmm. same scale. Yeah, mm -hmm. but on the bit error rate, if we look at a particular point, mm -hmm. let's say the last one. Oh, I've, yeah, mm -hmm. DVBT, and this is one of the problems still tackling. Uh, we're still uh, tackling it. Mm -hmm. It's the bit error rate for both. Which of them, which filter can give uh, the most appropriate? Uh, so, what's the difference between these uh, tw these three different cases here? Uh, the coefficients of the filters. The coefficients of these filters. Yeah, inside okay. the filter, there's uh, okay. uh, there's for each children and for each family, there there is a, mm. a mother family and children. Uh, and a children and a children family, which has a specific coefficient that we have to stick to it to investigate it. It has a standards and the, and there is a, some uh, pretty pretty pre preset uh, models that has all the coefficient on it. Um, uh, we are gathering all the information about all the, not just these two. Mm -hmm. But uh, other a lot, too. yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of families as well. Okay. Because the the outcome of my uh, first uh, simulation was mm -hmm. a load of simulation graphs. Mm -hmm. So what I've chosen these two and another two, which is uh, the coiflet and uh, another one uh, I cannot remember now because it was uh, about eight months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've chosen it because it gives a better result than this and has a different uh, approach. Okay. Yeah, we are not approaching it like uh, uh, this symmetric. Okay. Yeah, uh, there is a different approach. You will know it uh, on about one okay. year, so one year time. So yeah. how far are you away from uh, finishing up your work, you think? Uh, it's about uh, two years. Two more years? Yeah, yeah. two yeah. more years. Before you get your degree. Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, you'll do it. <laughs> yeah. it's just, it's just practice for your, your questions, right? For your uh, examination. Yeah, that's right. Thank you very much for giving me. Thank you, Abdul. You did a good job. Thank you. Thank you for giving Thank me the uh, opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.